you know, at the end of my TNA video, I said if you didn't have anything intelligent to post, if it was a troll comment, I delete it. And I block you. BB Hold One, honestly, Samoa Joe versus Kirk versus AJ Styles. Honestly, why in the hell would I think that's a bad match? I mean, seriously, two of the greatest athletes in wrestling. Two guys that I'm a personal fan of because they came through those always doors. And also, what does that have to do with the crowd? What does that have to do with the crowd being told what to do? Then Jerkaholic 2000. Wow, son. Wow. I mean, seriously? I didn't raise my voice the whole time I said I, didn't, I, I thought TNA was making bad decisions. I didn't go on a tirade. And you write, you write something that really, really doesn't have much to do with the video at all. Overreacting. And don't even leave, even small enough to leave a logical reasoning behind your statement. Wow. So, I respond to these comments because I, I thought that they really didn't have much to do with the video. And it was just somebody that looked at the name of the video and came on there and just wrote comments down just for the heck of it. Now, I, I, I do like both Styles and Samoa Joe, but at the same time, this match could be better. In fact, it probably was better when it was in a ring of honor ring. Now, I'm not saying these guys did, now, I'm not saying these guys doing a bad job in TNA, but that, that was an awesome match in ring of honor. And I also think even though I didn't read the second set of spoilers, thank you for spoiling that for me. Because I, I, I'm done, pretty much done with TNA. I pretty much read the spoilers, see what happened, but that's it. But I didn't raise my boys, guys. The overreacting comment was ludicrous, retarded, and didn't lack like like all knowledge. Behind it, you recall in 2000, I wish you would have actually stated that I was overreacting and then had something else to say that was actually smart behind it because it just seemed like a statement that came out of the blue because I didn't agree with your opinion. And this goes back to the video I, I, I did when I said, when I said wrestling fans are racing other wrestling fans for liking for liking or disliking something different. That goes that goes back to that video. About the wanna be smarts. That tell other wrestling fans what to do. Well I'm not having it on my videos. And if you want to do that that's that's fine with me, but don't do don't do it on my time. But I can honestly tell you the Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles at against all odds, that's gonna be a good match. But I'm not gonna be called a cast member. I'm not gonna be told who to cheer for, what to do. Not at all. And as far as as far as that situation goes, like I said before I look at the spoilers, see if this actually starts some type of angle where it's the old guys against the new guys or something. Or see if it's see if it's an angle or a gimmick. But other than that, if it's not, I'm I'm done. Seriously I'm done. And I mean the six sided ring is where it's at. Best matches in that ring. And some of those matches had Styles and Joe in it. And add Chris Christopher Daniels to the mix and that was my favorite match in TNA. There you have it. I wish you guys I wish 
guys would have been a bit more intelligent. And you know, I asked the the Styles Joe comment. I asked, I wasn't looking for him to write that down because seriously, I wouldn't think that's a bad idea at all because those two guys are some of the best, two of the best athletes in wrestling today. But I wish y'all would watch the video longer before y'all actually wrote your statements down. Jerk Hall 2000, you blocked because you didn't have anything intelligent to say. And in a way, it was kind of rude. And as far as the other guy, didn't have a they actually I have some knowledge behind it, so I'm probably subscribed to you, Angie. There you go. Peace.